little more than a year into the Trump presidency, but the results are already in, it seems. 170 political scholars surveyed by the New York Times ranked him the worst president of all time. Nate Silver, who once worked for the Times, though, said this. It speaks poorly to the field of presidential scholarship that political scientists have Trump ranked the worst president of all time after only one year on the job. Below, presidents, for example, who helped blunder us into the Civil War and the Great Depression. So who made the top 10? President Obama shot up 10 spots to number eight. President Bill Clinton slid, though, a bit from eighth down to 13th. Earlier tonight, I spoke with Bill Bennett, former Education Secretary and Fox News contributor. You might as well just throw in the towel, right? They've already 170 of these political scientists have already decided his fate. Yes, but shame on you. You called them scholars, Martha. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I, whatever, I, did, I did air quotes. You might have the, missed it. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, what, okay, air quotes. Whatever, I did miss it. Whatever this is, this is not scholarship. Mm -hmm. It is so ridiculous. That's the only word. It's beyond rhyme or reason, rationale or research. After one year. You know, we're in the Olympics period now. This is like everybody gets four jumps after his first jump, which is pretty good, his first year. Year, that's all. He doesn't get three more jumps. We grade him, evaluate him, and he's out. You know, he's out. Um, it's just nuts uh, that uh, Donald Trump would be behind James Buchanan, who blundered us into the Civil War, uh, Andrew Johnson, who tried to go back on Reconstruction and uh, set, tell those freed slaves they weren't freed anymore. I mean, really atrocious things as president. Um, but this crowd puts, puts him last. This, a, a message to parents, Martha, if I might, Forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. Yeah. This is what you get from these uh, so-called scholars at even the so-called best institutions. Yeah. It's a shame. It really is a shame. There used to be integrity in the academy. Yeah, I mean, it really does blow your mind that they that they got 170 uh, people to weigh in. You would yeah. think many of yeah. them would have said, "Well, how could we answer that question?" You know, I, I mean, it's not as if they were asked, you, you know, right. to measure them all on a first-year right. status. You know, I mean, that might be slightly you know, scientific or analytical to say, let's look at them all in their first year, but they didn't. Um, as you say, you know, Buchanan uh, got a bit of a reprieve. President Obama went eight points up the scale uh, to join the top 10. Do you think yeah. historically that, that he belongs yeah. in the top 10? What exactly did he do over eight years? Uh, Obamacare, which is in uh, tatters, uh, President Trump in one year uh, signed this tax bill, which has a lot of things going on, not just reduction of taxes, but other things that will stimulate the economy. Uh, he's appointed first-class federal judges, including a first-class judge in the Supreme Court. Uh, illegal immigration at the border is down. He said he would defeat ISIS. ISIS is very much being defeated, annihilated, in the words of General Matt. That's one year. But my gosh, he's got three more, yeah. maybe seven more, God forbid. You know I, don't, I don't want those it, 170 it, scholars to turn over in their, in their beds here. It's a long haul, and we've seen many times you take a picture of the person who takes the office on day one and what they look like four, four years later. It is a job that takes its sure. toll on everybody. But if you could tell President Trump tonight what you would advise him if he wants to... to not that he really should, anyone, I guess, should care about moving up this list because it's a preposterous gathering. But if you wanted him to take advice right. to be in the, in the upper echelons of the presidents of this country, what would you tell him to do in the next three? Well, I would tell him to listen to the people whom he trusts, get good people around you. But, I, I, you know, I think he's maturing in the job. I mean, I, I think he is taking a lot of incoming. And a lot of it he should ignore, but some of it he should listen to. And I, the job ages everyone and, in many cases, matures people. Uh, and, you know, this is a very strong guy who's not going to change. He's 70 years old. But the capacity to listen, the capacity to take good counsel, the capacity perhaps to pause uh, once in a while might not be the worst thing for him. But look, I salute the accomplishments. I know about the personal style. We're not going to do anything about the personal style. Uh, but, um, you know, in terms of his policies, you have to give him good grades after one year. And he's got at least three more left. Come on, Joe. Judges, give the guy his other three events. Huh? Exactly. You, you get to take that fourth jump uh, down the half pipe, and we'll watch him do that yeah. over the course of the years. Uh, Bill Bennett, always good to see you, sir. Thank you very much for your time tonight, as always. Thanks, Martha. Thanks very much.